Hey everyone, it's Maury. I'm sitting in my Hymer Active on another beautiful winter Arizona day. It's going to be about 65 degrees today and we have decent sunlight so I'm working on the van because I had some additional drama with the battery setup. Now you might recall from a previous video that one of my batteries was replaced, my lithium batteries. The van came with the H series lithiums from Hymer and the replacement is a new series L1 lithium battery which is supposed to be more efficient and just a better design overall. However, it comes with some differences, one of which is the charge level. The H-series battery is rated at 14.1 volts. The L1 is rated at 13.5 volts. Now, in Arizona especially, I get great sunlight and my solar panels are, are rocking and rolling, but the L1 battery was disconnecting itself from the solar panels not just stopping charging, but disconnecting itself from the coach completely. After some troubleshooting, I found that not only was the battery disconnecting itself from the solar panels when it was full, but it was also disconnecting itself from the coach shortly thereafter. I was able to determine that the solar panels were providing, when they weren't charging the battery, they were producing 14 and a half volts plus, which is probably more than what the L1 battery was happy with. Now, not, that's not so much more than what the H-series is rated for at 14.1. So 14 and a half volts or so didn't seem to be a problem with that. But the L1 was disconnecting itself. So it would reach a full charge state. And then a very short time after that, it would disconnect itself from the coach completely and not provide power. So I contacted Hymer and I told them what was happening. And I asked if it was okay for me to go in and change the solar controller settings in my MT50 monitor so that it wouldn't provide as much power to the batteries. And they said, yeah, you could try that. If it doesn't work, you're gonna have to take it to the dealer to be checked out. So after getting into the settings, I found that the default settings for a sealed battery were fairly high. Um, the charge rate, for instance, was 15 volts from the solar panels, much higher than the 13 and a half volts that it would be happy with. Now you have to figure there's gonna be some loss from that but it was still able to produce 14 and a half, 14.7, 14.8 volts sometimes. And the L1 clearly was not happy with that. So it was cutting itself off. I went into the user settings and reduced as many as I could that had to do with the charge rate and the boost level and the float level. And I'll provide those settings here in the video just to show you what I ended up with. And now it seems to be working okay. I've successfully watched the battery stop taking a charge from the solar panels, but still provide power to the coach. And then when the battery discharged enough, it started taking power from the panels again. So I think that this is the answer. If you have a mixed environment of an H and an L1 series battery. Now the downside, as far as I can tell, is that the solar panels aren't going to give the H series a complete full charge because I have it throttled back so that it can't. But I'm kind of okay with that, and it will still get a full charge from the underhood generator anyway. So even though the H series battery won't get a full charge from the solar panels, I think it will be more functional overall, mainly because I won't have to mess with it. And the L1 series battery does seem to do a pretty good job of managing its intake from the panels and cutting itself off when it's not necessary to receive power from the panels. I don't know if you've experienced this issue or if it's going to come up. I know that there have been a, uh, a lot of reports of these batteries failing, so there might be some mixed environments like what I've got with H and L1. I've also heard that Roadtrek recommended that they not be mixed at all, but it might be related to this issue. I don't know. But my solution seems to be working, and I will report back if there are any changes. If you've experienced this issue, um, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of interested to hear what your problem was and what was done to correct it or if you corrected it at all. Not to brag, but man, look at this weather. It's just a beautiful day. This is why we live in Arizona. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, batteries are working and happy and I'm going to cancel my appointment at the dealership for the uh, inspection of said battery since everything seems to be all right. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comment section below. And until next time, have a great day.